You probably know that Prince's debut album was released in 1978, and it's called For You. If you're a real Prince historian, you might even know that the then 20-year-old boy wonder and musical genius turned down several major labels before signing with Warner Brothers, since they were the only ones to allow him to produce his own work. But we dug real deep to bring you the facts that maybe you didn't know. And if you did know all of what we're about to tell you, you're a true funk soldier of the highest order. Let's do this. So first things first, although Warners had allowed Prince to produce his own work, that doesn't mean they were fully ready to take a chance on him right away. So they brought in a guy named Tommy Vaccari to engineer and to executive produce the first album. Tommy was essentially tasked with making the album a hit as a trustworthy figure for Warners. Unfortunately, he found Prince pretty difficult to deal with. But a part of what made Prince agree to this arrangement was the fact that Tommy, at that time, was perhaps best known for his work with one of Prince's idols, Carlos Santana. Fact number two. It's well known that Prince's vocals on his debut album sound well beyond his years. Clean, soft, silky, stacked harmonies cover this record, perhaps most notably on the title track, but what was Prince's influence here? Well, he'd practice his vocals before recording by singing songs by none other than the legendary Shaka Khan and her band, Rufus. Fact number three. Speaking of Shaka Khan, she was one of not one, but not two, not three, but four musical icons that the young Prince met for the first time during the recording sessions for this album. The other three, Sly Stone, Carlos Santana, and Patrice Russian. In fact, if you've watched our previous videos, you probably know about the prank that Prince played on Chaka Khan by calling her up, inviting her to the studio, pretending to be Sly Stone. If not, go and check it out. As for Carlos Santana, Prince very nearly caused a serious incident by tracking mud from his shoes across Santana's white carpet. Sounds kind of like a Dave Chappelle sketch with Rick James. Now, Prince's manager at the time, Owen Husney, recalls that he removed his own sock and ran it under the water and got down and scrubbed off the mud. Now, that's going above and beyond the call of duty for your artist, in our opinion. Fact number four. We mentioned Patrice Russian in the last fact. And if you're a Prince and a Patrice fan, you might know that the legendary keyboard player and vocalist actually briefly joined Prince's band later on in 1989 in the Batman era and performed with the band on Saturday Night Live. But what you might not know is that Patrice Russian actually appears uncredited on Prince's debut album For You playing keyboards on the song Baby. Fact number five. Prince was given a budget from Warner Brothers of $180,000 for three albums. However, due to his desire for his first album to be absolutely perfect, he allegedly ended up spending close to $170,000 recording the first album alone. This meant that his follow-up album, 1979's Prince, self-titled, was recorded on a very small budget. And his third album, 1980's Dirty Mind was recorded with almost no budget at all. Ironically enough, each album would be more successful than the last despite the dwindling budgets, and the style and punk-funk sound of Dirty Mind actually benefited from the low recording quality. The final fact. In quite a bizarre set of circumstances, and not something that you see too much of these days, Warner Brothers decided that a good marketing method for promoting Prince's debut single, Soft and Wet, would be to give away an item in a competition that was both soft and wet. They ran promotional contests in the US for the single where they gave away waterbeds. Yeah, kind of weird. Despite this, the single 
only ended up being a minor hit. But as we know, there was much more to come. And that's it for our facts about Prince's debut album for you from 1978. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave us a comment, like, and share the video. My name is Casey Rain, and we'll catch you next time. Hi, I'm Elisa Fiorello, and you're watching The Violet Reality on YouTube. All things Prince!